The music of Britain is so prolific in its vocabulary. He has so many different styles. He has so many tools in his toolbox that he can choose from, which is perfect for Midsummer Night's Dream because there are so many different elements, so many different characters. You really can't ask for a better combination of subject and composer. We have parody in the third act, we have romantic music, and he, he has this you know, connection in the music where it really does operate in a very beautiful tonal world, but he can go in one direction and make it more dissonant, and he can go into the total opposite direction. It's a really exciting challenge to have all of those come together as one whole, but he's already sort of sought after that for us. Midsummer Night's Dream, the play in my opinion, is all about magic and all about different elements coming together. And what makes it such a great theme for an opera is that music therefore binds everything together as well. And if we take that one step further, there are so many moments in this opera that are purely instrumental, and yet they are evoking something very specific. And it's so exciting to see that all blend together into one coherent work.